Hey guys, what's up? This is Sanessa. Um, welcome back to another reading. Um, today we're going to be looking at channeled messages from your person. Um, I don't know why I said it like that, person. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yeah, I've already pulled cards. We have group one, two, and three. And the way this is going to work is that I have oracle cards to kind of describe the connection so you can kind of figure out if this is sort of what's going on. Um, important to note with the oracle cards is that um, any or all of the messages might be things that you're aware of. So if any one of them resonates, you know, you can take that as your message if you want to. Um, you're always welcome to pick another pile if you feel like it doesn't resonate. If you're like, nah, girl, that's not what's going on at all. Um, so yeah, and, and keeping in mind that the, the oracle messages might represent things that you're unaware of, things that your person is feeling or experiencing or thinking about the connection. Um, and then I have tarot cards. I have three tarot cards to kind of get information. I'm going to channel from your person in first person format from those three cards. So as I mentioned, three options to choose from. I am going to be honest. I started recording this and um, even though we just got out of Mercury retrograde, we're still in that shadow period. The first take got messed up. So I accidentally did see the Oracle cards for group one. So it's not going to be as much of a surprise, but it's, it is still very exciting. It's, it's like worthwhile, but I always like to put that out there because you guys know that like, if you've been here for a minute, you know that I like to experience the magic with you. I try not to look at them as much as possible while I'm shuffling. So just so you know, I did see group one's <laughs> Oracle cards a little bit, but it's still very exciting. Um, so yeah, anyway. Three groups to choose from one two three um feel free to take as much time as you need to meditate and contemplate about the options in front of you um extra brownie points if you know where that what deck that phrase comes from because that accidentally slipped out <laughs> um but yeah uh feel free to take as much time as you need side note one last little housekeeping thing um i'm sorry if you can hear it's storming where i am so i'm sorry if you can hear that on the audio and i'm sorry because it freaks my dog out so periodically she'll bark a little bit i apologize um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring this message to you guys. So once you've picked your option, head down to the time scramps, the, to the time scramps. What is that? The time. <laughs> wow. I like that one in a way I can't fully articulate. I would call them time scramps from now on. I like that. You guys in on this? Like hashtag time scramps 2024. I love it. Um, <laughs> so head on down to the description box where the time scramps are and go to your selected option. I'm going to start with group one before my mouth just completely falls out of my face <laughs> so here we are let's do this oh shit <coughs> <coughs> Oof, excuse me okie dokie hello group one okay so I'm going to lay out all your oracle cards. Again, I am sorry I've seen your oracle cards. They're not a surprise for me, but they are very fun, very exciting. Um, so I'm going to lay all those out and then do your tarot. And that's going to be, as I mentioned prior, the channeled messages from your person. So y'all got express your love. Just making sure it's in the frame. Um, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You guys got... Y'all got Moss Agate with Intention. This is associated with the Heart Chakra, and it's number four. You guys got Environment. That's card 44. Sorry, I'm trying not to light my little babies on fire. This is Bertha, by the way. She was a Christmas gift for my dear friend April. So we can all thank April for a moment. Take a second to wish her love, because um, I really love this candle. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, Environment with card 44. And deep knowing with card 43. Okay, so this is a pretty clear message to me. Um, first of all, we have four and then four, four. We have a master number, but this is four, four, four. So you might be seeing a lot of fours in regarding, in re <laughs> oh, regarding this connection. It's a tour de fours. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We have ascended masters coming through, helping with this connection, helping your person. Um, I also like that we have a 43 and a 44, so this indicates progression forward, which is the crux of what I was picking up on. Um, so your person really wants you to know that you've made a super positive impact in their lives. Um, I feel like with this here, you're very warm, you're very open to them, and they... You know, you see this guy is like holding on to her, right? So even though he kind of looks like he's going to shit his pants any second, 
he, you know, he's got his little sword of truth. He knows what's true to him. And even if he is struggling to express himself, he is supportive of her. You guys see, I'm always great at holding it out of the frame. Um, but he is supportive of her. So I feel like your person has not fully expressed themselves. Um, but they are trying to gain the courage. They are engaged with you. Like this person hasn't turned away or anything like that. There's a, there's a card in this deck that's heart to heart conversations where the, like the woman's like facing the dude and the dude is like looking forward. He's just like not really acknowledging her. <coughs> Excuse me. So this person is engaged with you, even if they haven't like, you know, in engaged in this connection and the energy that's going on here, even if they haven't fully expressed what's in their heart. Ooh, sorry if you can hear my knuckles crack, you guys. I'm old. <laughs> I don't have a good excuse. <laughs> um, with the three stones here, this kind of makes me think of coming into alignment. We have this almost like portal energy with the two pillars. We also have a lot of ivy here. So ivy is all about unconditional love. Um, and what your person wants you to know is <laughs> two things. Um, one is that they they really appreciate you. I feel like you help this person level up. You help this person grow a lot because, again, we have 43 to the 44, so there's this progression forward. Um, I feel like with environment here, there's something about, A, you guys could be in each other's environment, like you could work together, um, you could live in the same neighborhood. For some of you, I'm hearing live in the same apartment building. Um, you could be a part of the same friend group, but you're in each other's orbit, I feel, on a regular basis. For a very, very small number of you, if this is long distance, you're you're you may have just visited each other for the first time recently or you're trying to figure out a way to be in each other's environment but for most of you I feel like this is a very in your area type of connection um you guys hear my dog sigh he was so dramatic <laughs> um but yeah, your, your person really wants you to know, especially with all the energy of the fours here, is that you're really helping to ground this person. I feel like you help make a difference in their daily life, right? And with the green here as well, this is in the heart chakra, which we see here. Um, you really help to make this life, this life, this person's life, a place that they more readily want to inhabit. You made it more pleasant for them. So you may have empowered them to take steps, again, coming into alignment with what they truly want. Um... You may have helped empower them to make changes. Um, you know, as you can see in this deck, the there are cards where the Merkava is the same color as the background. And there are also cards where they're different colors. So when it's the same, I take this to mean that there is resonant harmony with somebody's internal frequency and external reality. So I feel like you help this person come into alignment. You help change their life in some way that helps bring them more into alignment with what will actually make them happy. What will also be peaceful and soothing for them in in the heart space that will make them feel at ease um and this person is really really grateful for you in addition to the romantic feelings they have for you they also are really appreciative of you with deep knowing here um we also have this little moon image as well as this owl look how happy this owl looks he's got such a little like if owls could have a shit eating grin that's this guy hands down i love it i love it um <laughs> but you know with the moon here i feel like again there's something here about this person's like feelings and like um subconscious programming or thought process around their feelings that you help sort of cast light on um and I feel like this person knows deep down that you are part of their spiritual path that you are making a very very positive impact in their life in their life excuse me and that they were they had to meet you in order to go through this change and they're super grateful that they got to do this with you um, and I feel like their, their intention is to try to express this to you. Um, I feel like they're trying to figure out, cause again, this guy's got his sort of truth here. So this person's already aware of how they feel and of how much they appreciate you and of how they would kind of like to, I almost feel like clear the air, like, and just like let you know how meaningful you are to them and kind of like open the gates to see where things are going to go um like the next steps here but this person's not exactly sure what to say they might be hesitant because they don't know how you feel although she's like she's all up on this guy so that's when I kind of feel like you're somebody who's very comfortable expressing their emotions um you might be sort of like I'm almost getting like dropping hints to this person like trying to set up a conversational space 
where it's very easy for them to share their feelings and they're kind of just not getting it. <laughs> like there's something where they're they're like they're scared, but they're resolute. They're trying to figure out the best way to move forward in this because they're gonna tell you their intention is to let you know what's in their heart for you because you've made a really positive impact in their lives and they're really grateful for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and this also might be why they're struggling to talk to you about it is because there's this energy of like, wow, this person's made such a, a beautiful impact. I don't want to say the wrong thing and lose them. Um, so just know that your person's trying to figure out a way to express this the, these complex feelings to you they also might know that they want to move forward but with this kind of alignment imagery it might not be time yet there might be external factors they're trying to figure out or um, they might want to move forward but they don't know exactly what that looks like yet so this person's trying to kind of get their ducks in a row and get ready to come forward so like because it almost has this this feeling of like pause in a conversation where you're like you know how there's that natural ebb and flow to a conversation of like, I say something, you say something, you know, something like that. It feels like in this situation, you've kind of made some gesture or made some overture or some expression of how you feel or you dropped like a massive hint or something like that. And it kind of feels like, okay, now your turn. How do you feel? And it feels like they're just like deer in the headlights. Like they don't know what to do. <laughs> Poor little babes. Um, so yeah okay let's see what your tarot is and we'll start channeling from your person so you have oh shit okay you've got the death card reverse can you guys see that yeah oh you've got the king of wands and the um this thing knight of swords reversed there you go this is the herb crafters tarot in case anybody's interested the link is going to be in the description box below it's absolutely gorgeous okay <coughs> sorry about that guys <clears throat> so i just want to point out any signs before i get started channeling for from your person uh we have scorpio energy here we have masculine air energy so gemini libra aquarius i almost said earth energy so taurus virgo capricorn could be in the mix here and then we have masculine fire energy this would be aries leo sag okay <clears throat> sorry last one okay i know i needed to make a change you knew i needed it too probably more than i did i've always been afraid to just Go after the things that I want to speak plainly, to speak clearly, to speak openly from the heart. I've always been afraid that I can't do it. I can't make my dreams a reality. I can't take action with passion and be in command of my own life. I've always kept my desires sort of brewing in the background but I've always been too scared to take a leap of faith. And then you happened. <laughs> you helped me transform and I didn't even know how resistant I was to it until you had started to make it happen. I felt comfortable and safe in the space I had created for myself. But the transformation and the change I was craving was outside of that space. And you helped guide me into it. And I can never thank you enough for that. But I'd, I'd like to try to find a way. You have been the light in the darkness for me. You have been like a guide for me. And everything that I make from this point out, everything that I create in my life, everything that brings me passion and joy and happiness, everything that's really worth having, I will in part attribute to you, to your presence, to your impact. I was so stuck before. 
and you unstuck me. And I'm getting ready to make a very big change. I don't want this to end. I don't want this to go anywhere. You got me out of my head and into my soul, into my inner knowing, into my greatest spiritual evolution. You got me to be confident and to go after what it is that I desire. And I desire you. You're the last piece of the puzzle. And this has been stewing for so long. <coughs> We've been right at the brink, it feels like, for a really long time. And I'm manifesting the courage and the words to say. It seems like it comes so easily to you and I want to do it justice. And I want you to know that I know this change needs to happen. I want it to happen. But I also want you to know I'm a little scared. But loving somebody makes you brave. Loving someone can make you bold. And loving you makes me both. And as such, I am gaining the courage to come forward and offer you a huge transformation in this connection together. I want you in my everyday environment. I want you to be a part of what I create in this world. <coughs> you and I are spiritually connected and I know this beyond a shadow of a doubt. I wouldn't be surprised if we'd known each other many lifetimes. Our souls help each other out lifetime after lifetime because there is unconditional love here. And this is just the next step in that evolution together. So know that I am coming toward you. I'm just getting everything in right alignment, everything perfect. <laughs> because you are a goddess. You are everything I could ever want, I could ever hope for. You're so beautiful. My life feels so rich because you're in it. I see you as my life partner, somebody I could really build with, somebody who brings so much into my existence, into my journey, and I'd like to return that to you. So I'm getting ready to make you an offer that's worthy of you. You are with me in all that I do. I will always be grateful for you. I love you endlessly. Okay, group one. I think that is everything that I'm getting for you guys. I hope this has been helpful. This was lovely. I'm wishing you guys good luck with your person. If you need help with your specific situation, please feel free to check out my shop link in the description box below. Um, I have a variety of different readings. And if you don't see something that meets your needs, please DM me. I'm happy to do custom orders. So it's been an honor and a joy. I'm wishing you the best, brightest, and most beautiful things that life has to offer. Take care, love bugs. And I'm going to move on to group two. Okay. Hi, 
group two. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, so I am going to pull out your oracle cards first. I have your tarot cards. This is going to talk about the channeled information from your person. I have not seen these ones yet. Um, I like the energy already, though. It's feeling kind of like light and fun. It's kind of bopping around. I will say, though, you're the only group where when I was shuffling, um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, guys. While I was shuffling, um, I kept like, there's a little bit of uncertainty here. So your person, I feel like, doesn't fully know what they want to say. Um, I don't feel like they're uncertain about how they feel about you. I feel like they're having a hard time fully conceptualizing or articulating it. Um, so they might have an idea of what they want to say and then they go to say it and then they change their mind. They might be kind of running seemingly hot and cold or sometimes they're very like, they're very expressive. They're very chatty and other times they're like withdrawn. This is because they're kind of oscillating back and forth a little bit. <clears throat> um, and I feel like this is because there's some uncertainty, um, yeah, so let's look at your oracle cards. This is going to describe what's going on in the connection. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry, by the way, about the the um, like rain and the snow and stuff. There's a storm outside, so sorry if you can hear that. It's very, very loud. Um, but yeah, like I said in the intro as well, any, any of these messages in the oracle section may be confirmation for you. So one or all of them could apply, you know, if some of them apply, but others don't, these might be things that are going on that you're unaware of, you know, within your person, within the connection. Um, so just take it as it resonates. Um, but yeah, let's see what you guys got. You have, oh, you have chemistry. Sorry, I'm just making sure we're still in the frame. Yes, I am the queen of putting things out of frame. I've also accidentally almost lit my cards on fire like three times today. Um, okay, so there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Love it. Y'all got... Ooh, okay. You have card 32 with Desert Jasper. Um, and this is Resolve. All right. You have... <laughs> You guys got card six with love, 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 love. I love it. No pun intended. <laughs> but, you know, here we are. Trying to get things even. It's just not my strong suit. Y'all been here for a minute. You know aesthetic is not my greatest um, asset here. Um, and then you have, ooh, okay, you have serendipity. This is card 18 that reduces to a nine in case that's important for you. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to save these for after. These are going to be the channel messages. Okay, so first of all, with your person with serendipity, I feel like you guys just sort of fell into each other's lives. I don't think this was a slow burn. I think you guys just like fell together quickly. Um, there's probably a lot of chemistry here. You just felt really like, ow, banged my hand on the desk. Um, very magnetically attracted to each other. Um, I almost am getting the feeling with this card, this is like a whirlwind romance a little bit. This always makes me think of um, the Wheel of Fortune as well. So this is kind of Jupiter energy. Um, so your person might be a Sagittarius, possibly a Pisces, um, or have like heavy Jupiter in their charts, something like that. Um, this may, for some of you, have been like a love at first sight situation where it feels like... So what I'm getting here, because we also have Desert Jasper. This is card 32, and that reduces to a five. Um, and the... the um, the thing associated here is Vesta, and Vesta is all about house and home. Um, I feel like there's something where you guys just, like, clicked. You guys just fell together, but there were a lot of practical issues. There are a lot of, like, practical problems or challenges that needed to get resolved, maybe particularly in terms of, like, housing or situations in your home so one of you could have children and the other one might not or you both could have children you could live at a distance from one another you could have met each other on vacation <clears throat> um, for some of you I'm getting you could have met this person and then one of you right after meeting got a job that like would cause you to relocate or similarly you could have been planning to relocate and then you met this person and then you had to kind of like either change your plans or like really think about what you wanted, right? It really forced you to stop because I feel like with both chemistry and love here, there's this energy where it's like, there's a strong, mag mag ooh, strong magnetic attraction. Um, and I feel like some of you, some of you were then kind of forced to wonder if this was just like a passing thing or if this was real true love. You know, I just noticed I've used this deck a bajillion, dillion times. I just noticed this little dude. Can you guys see that? Let me see. 
you see him? Yeah, look at him. Look at this little this little gargoyle here. Um, so I feel like even though he's not really aiming at them, actually, he's just aiming at a tree. Um, I feel like Cupid kind of like struck. Again, this feels like love at first sight. Um, even if that's not something that you generally experience or believe in, I feel like both of you are kind of like, wow, what the hell? Oh, excuse my burp. Um, and with this image right here too, it's like there is so much magic in this connection. I'm noticing too, we have red and blue here. So there might be kind of like an opposites attract energy going on a little bit. Um, especially because we have like the desert and then we have this like blue, very like calm, kind of almost like watery feeling going on. Um, <clears throat> and, and once again, I feel like this is something where like you guys feel lucky to have met each other. And this is reducing to a nine as well. Um, so this is why I feel like you met each other right as one cycle was wrapping up. And that's why there may have been, maybe that's why I was getting this confused energy before, is because there were a lot of things that were moving around. There were a lot of moving parts. And I feel like it was hard for you guys to see this clearly or to figure out, like, is this just like a temporary thing? For some of you, you may have met this person on vacation. Um, and you had kind of like a holiday romance. And then it's sort of just like, okay, well, what do we do now? And I feel like... Um, you know, you've either decided to try to make it work long distance or um, you kept in contact for a while and there was really something there. It's not just like, for, what the takeaway here is, I feel like this kind of hit you all at once. And at first it was like, there's a lot of really beautiful chemistry here. And then I feel like real life kind of set in and there was this sort of uncertainty as to whether or not this was real love. And you're you're in, either in the process of figuring this out or you may already know this for yourself, but your person knows that this is real love, right? And this is super interesting because I mentioned this in group one, where as you can see here, there are cards in this deck where the Merkaba is the same color as the background and there are cards where it's different. Group one also have one where it was the same color. Um, and so when it's the same color, I always view this to be that your internal frequency is in resonant harmony with your external reality, right? Um, <clears throat> excuse me so where we have this blue which is like that throat chakra energy there is this deep resounding truth in this connection that this is based off of love and this is what's setting the tone for your external reality so if there have been challenges in terms of figuring out practical shit um this is the thing that's carrying you through those challenges this is the thing that is that is helping you guys work your way through it so especially if you're not sure how your person feels or you're not sure if your person is as as um as I was gonna say invested but I kept saying connected to this um in my head I'm like as invested no connected no invested no <laughs> like it was like that was super weird <laughs> oh, I'm short-circuiting um your person is they really really care um they I almost feel like, too, because of how these two are interacting, A, there's a lot of closeness here. I feel like there's a lot of closeness on spiritual matters or when you're learning together. Um, and B, you might like to, this relationship might do better by having experiences together than talking. Because there are some cards in this deck where there's, it's very demonstrative of, like, talking to one another. But I feel like you guys are able to communicate energetically very, very easily. So there might be an element of telepathy here. Um... <clears throat> excuse me one or both of you could just be very energy sensitive so you kind of don't even have to ask how the other person is doing or, or what's going on you kind of just know and that's why I feel like there it might be this might have been kind of weird because I think on the surface it looked like this was just like you know a whirlwind thing that you're trying to make into an established thing but deep down you guys already know that the truth of this situation is pure unconditional love with the number six there um, and I also like to we have you know what what reduces down to a five and then a six. There's progression forward from conflict and chaos into harmony and into unconditional love. Um, so that's really, really nice. I really like that. This feels like very happy energy. Um, for some of you, your person may have just kind of come to this realization recently. Um, and now they're kind of like, they're they're really excited about it you guys may have recently had a conversation about this where you've kind of been like okay what do you think this is and you know like sharing what you think it is and you guys may have found out that you're kind of on the same page um and there's a strong indication maybe they're making plans that involve you in a more permanent way than they had prior um uh. excuse my burp i'm so sorry <laughs> um yeah 
I really like that. So let's see what you get for your tarot. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, guys. My asthma is just kicking, just, yeah, kicking up. Ooh, okay. You have the devil. Mm. You have, oh, I love this, the three of pentacles. This is the Herb Crafters Tarot, by the way, in case you're interested. It's freaking gorgeous. Um, I love it. And you have the Six of Wands reversed. Interesting, because this is Jupiter and Leo, if I remember correctly. Um, so we're just talking about that, that the big Jupiter energy. Okay, um, so first of all, with the devil, this could involve a Capricorn. could be you, could be your person. Capricorn season may have been particularly important for you guys. I like that two out of your three cards are berries. That's nice. I don't know why. That just, like, tickles me. Um, okay. So yeah, this is pretty much exactly what we were talking about. I feel like there's, there were a lot of challenges to work through. This is always like, this can involve karmic ties, karmic situations. This is just like restriction. This is just difficulty, big Saturn energy in an unpleasant way. Um, and I feel like this is something where this is what created these problems that needed to be resolved. And I feel like there's a period of time in this connection, especially with these two cards, where it's like, shit, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it through this. Because this is a card of like success, you know, victory, public, like <laughs> being able to say words would be nice. I wish that's what the Six of Wands was about. I could use that right now. Uh, public recognition was what I was trying to say before I had a small seizure. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, excuse me. <clears throat> public recognition. Um, so there may have been this sort of fear around this connection failing. Um, for some of you, this may have, like I said, kind of started out a little bit more casually or like started out small and there was this issue with um, going public with this or there was an issue with like introducing them to your people or um, like... Yeah, there, so what's at the heart of this is a fear of this not being real. <laughs> I was like, what's the quickest way to get to what I'm trying to say? What's at the heart of this is a fear of this not being real or a fear of you guys not being able to overcome any challenges in this connection, whether this has to do with external factors like distance, where you're living, um, you know, your living situation. Again, those restrictions that needed to be resolved or whether this is like you guys are very, very different um, or a combination of the two. Um for some of you with this three of pentacles, there's also a child in the mix, whether this is like y'all got surprise pregnant or um, one of you has a child and the other one does not. There could be like this, I don't want to say third party energy because it's not like third party ish, but it's like there's another factor to think about here. One of you might have a very demanding job. This could be like, again, if this is long distance, like it's it's you, them and the distance that you have to kind of work between. Um, but there's like an element of triangulation here where there's got to be like, OK, if we want to make this work long term, if we want to actually turn this into a thing, we have to figure we have to figure out what to do, right? Because I like to imagine we have these three little baskets of the raspberries. Um, and then we, ah, sorry. We like need to move them forward and it would be kind of like taking up the whole path. I know I'm doing an explanation before I do the channel message, but I kind of want to let you guys know what I'm seeing here real quick. Sorry. I don't know why I wanted to do that, but I'm feeling called. So maybe your person's very like strategy oriented. They like to just like plan things out. They like to kind of get to the, you know, get to the meat of the issue. Um, but yeah, so this, this is the biggest thing I'm seeing in the cards. <laughs> and so this has been the, the major challenge here. Um, is trying to figure out whatever this situation is, trying to figure out a way to work together with them to overcome any of the obstacles um, and to overcome any fears about that. So, <clears throat> all right, now I'm actually going to channel messages. Um, yeah, <laughs> so... my love. <laughs> um, how, how do I explain what happened to us? I was just like living my life and then you showed up. Bam. And I just thought this is just an attraction because I was so attracted to you. God. Just wanted to eat you up. And it's easy when things are unattached to think that that's all it is. To think that it's just for fun. 
to get carried away and swept up in the moment in the insatiable desire. We peeled back the layers and I was shocked to find out there was love there. And I doubted myself because as I'm sure you know, I've been wrong before. Don't tell on me. <laughs> I've been wrong about how another person and myself could interweave ourselves in each other's lives. About who is a good person to give pieces of myself to. About who can withstand the heat and the pressure of life <clears throat> with me and come out better for it. We had all these things trying to get in our way. All these problems, all these little obstacles. And, well, some of them not so little. <laughs> some of them some of them were bigger than I expected. And there were so many times along the way that I expected our connection to just fall apart. And I think it would have been easier. Because on the outside, all these problems were the issue. All these problems were the blockages. But I think now that I've had time and space to watch things unfold, I think the real problems were this fear. I can say it now. Not to you. <laughs> but to myself, at least, in a couple of quiet moments in the day. That I was afraid. Dearly afraid. I was afraid of making the wrong choice. And I was afraid of this failing. And with every single obstacle that we dealt with, every problem we resolved, every hurdle we overcame, it grounded our connection more. We've become a team through all of the things that we've had to work through. And along the way, it was so hard for me to accept that this person who just showed up in my life, who captivated me, who inspired me, who ensnared me, you silver tongued devil, could be somebody so grounding, could be somebody so loving, and could be somebody I could see myself really sharing something with, building something with. This connection has asked so much of me. It's asked me to overcome everything I've been afraid of. And I'm still afraid, just so you know. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that, but I'm still afraid. But I'm more afraid of not trying, not being with you, not moving forward. We've already come so far in this situation. And what propels me forward all the time is a fear of not being with you. Because there is magic here. I feel the universe in between us whenever we're together. And when we're not. I can't offer you reassurance as to what will happen. I have no idea. But I can offer you consistency and effort because my deepest truth is my love for you and my love for you will overpower any of my fears my love for you will inspire me to move forward to make a way to resolve any issues that come our way i'd rather fail trying my hardest with you then succeed easily with anybody else. I'd like to make a home together. I'd like to build together. 
and I'd like to ground what we have made even more. I feel as if spirit brought this partnership to me. I am on your team and in your corner. <laughs> you will never find a more loyal defender than myself. And I will stand up for you and go to the ends of the earth for you for as long as you'll let me. So what are we waiting for? I think it's time for a leap of faith. Don't you? I love you. In every life for always. Oh, that's so nice, you guys. Okay, uh, so this is everything I'm seeing for group two. I hope this has been helpful. If you need help with your specific situation, please um, feel free to check out my shop link in the description box below. And with that, I think I'm going to move on to group three. Bye, guys. <clears throat> okay. Peace. All right. Hi, group three. Um, okay, so I have tarot that I'm going to pull at the end to do channeled messages from your person. But before I even do that, I want to lay out oracle cards to kind of talk about what's going on in the connection, see if this resonates with you. Keep in mind, any or all of these messages can um, can apply in order for this, this reading to resonate with you. So let's say, you know, of the four cards that we're going to pull, if one card really resonates, but, you know, two don't, and then another one might, this could still be your pile. Excuse my burp. <laughs> this could still be your pile. Um, just because some of the messages that come out in the Oracle section might be things that you are aware of or things you're not aware of. These could be things going on with your person or things that they think and feel they keep to themselves. They haven't shared. So with that in mind, let's get started. And you guys have, ooh, you guys have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Y'all have... Ooh, okay, fluorite with introspection. This is card 15 that reduces to a six. You guys see that? Famous for putting things out of frame accidentally. Oh no. <laughs> Swap, there we go. Y'all got, okay, you have nine with completion. And, ooh, okay, you have all that glitters. This is card 16 that reduces to a seven. I think I have to sneeze, so I'm sorry if at some point that uh, makes a debut. <clears throat> okay, so you know what's really fascinating? Um, as you can see here, uh, there are cards in this deck where the Merkaba is the same color as the background and cards where they're different. Um, and when it's the same, this to me means that your internal frequency is in resonant harmony with your external reality. Every single group has gotten a card where they're the same. We've not, we haven't had any where they're different. <laughs> excuse me so this is nice because this means a lot of shit is coming into alignment I really like that um all right so with card 15 here this makes me think of the devil card in the tarot um and with this completion card coming out as well uh we have a lot of purple here this is very spiritual energy this is third eye crown chakra energy I feel as if you and your person we also have a lot of purple in this floor right um, you and your person have been doing a lot of inner work, a lot of shadow work. I feel like you guys have been wrapping up karmic cycles either with each other or with other people in your lives. Um, and with all that glitters here as well, we have these two masks. I feel like you guys have been working on getting in alignment with something to you authentically. And whatever this was, this has been an ego mask that you've been wearing to protect yourself for a very, very long time. Um... This is a weird thing because it almost looks like this is like, I know it's like a beak, but it looks like a giant nose. <laughs> it makes me like a Pinocchio. So maybe one of you wasn't being very honest with the other. Um, I feel like this is your person. This is you for some reason. Um, and not like necessarily, you know, being deceptive, but just not really sharing, um, especially with all the gold here as well. Not really sharing about things that they value. Um, so like playing their cards close to the vest a little bit. So they may really value this connection and not have felt comfortable sharing that um, or not have felt comfortable being totally vulnerable in that. Whatever this 
cycle has been. I feel like this is for this group, you guys were in separation or it's just been very much on pause. It's been really rocky. Um, whereas the other kind of the other two groups kind of had their own distinct their own distinct I almost said their own distinct scent. That's not what I meant. Their own distinct kind of energies of like struggling to figure out what to say. I feel like you and your person have just you've had a lot of ups and downs. I feel like you've probably known this person for a minute. Um, especially because we have a nine here as well. So this is talking about wrapping up a cycle. Um, you guys may have had a karmic cycle you had to you had to wrap up with each other um, before you're able to move forward. Because this always makes me think of the Six of Swords as well, right? There's two people and then there's somebody steering the boat, much like the Six of Swords. Um, there is a lot of love here. There's like deep soul love. There's a mutual understanding that I think you guys don't share with anybody else. So maybe you guys have been through a lot of stuff together that you just, only the other person can really understand. Um, but there's also a, a very deep need for healing in this connection. Because this feels like whatever this was took its toll pretty considerably. Um, I am going to do channel messages. I'd like to pull you guys a couple of tarot cards first because I feel like uh, this feels like there's there's messages from spirit that need to come through first. Um, so ten of pentacles reversed, seven of cups reversed. Oh, shit. Okay, the lovers and the four of cups. All right. Um, we have the king of stabbies, swords, king of swords at the bottom. Um yeah, sorry. I just, I wanted to kind of clear this up first because are we still in frame? Yeah. Um, okay. So 10 of Pentacles reversed, seven of cups reversed, the lovers and the four of cups. So what I feel like was happening here, you know, it's really interesting for the lovers in this deck. Can you see? This is the Herb Crafters Tarot, by the way. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so for the lovers in this deck, um, it's really interesting because both of these circles, these are parts of the, the hawthorn berry plant. So these are the berries, these are the flowers. So they look really, really different, but they're part of the same plant, right? Which is, you know, <laughs> indicative of that lover's energy. And it's, I feel like for you guys, because of this, there's really something where you guys have to, I wouldn't even say meet in the middle. There, This feels like the things that you have in common. This is your common shadow elements that you've both expressed very oppositionally. You could have... Um, some significant oppositions in your, like if you're looking at the synastry between you two, so that's like relationship astrology, you could have some significant oppositions or you could have oppositional like major placements like sun and moon, moon and Venus, sun and Venus, stuff like that. Doesn't have to be the case, but that may be. Um, but what I feel like was happening here is I feel like you were offering this cup to your person and they weren't really getting it. Like they weren't seeing what was going on here. I feel like this person with this kind of Pinocchio energy we're talking about and the seven of cups reversed. Um, this person has had a really, really challenging upbringing with the 10 of pentacles reversed. There's a lot of instability. And I feel like your person has had to fight for everything that they could get. And I, I feel like this has kind of caused them to uh like hoard their energy because look we have this massive pile of gold like hoard their energy their resources their information especially I feel like they don't really give away anything that they're not comfortable parting with so I wouldn't say they're like straight up manipulative but I think that they may kind of uh keep things elusive as much as possible until they know what they want to do right so they like to they like to keep their play their cards close to the vest until they have a strategy until they have they they have a set idea right um and again I don't think this person is necessarily deceptive but I feel like they will they'll kind of keep quiet and they'll avoid making a definitive decision until they have a plan because they've kind of really grown up like I said in this instability this this um I don't know 
Yeah, and stability is really interesting because it is material with the Ten of Pentacles here, but I feel like it's so much more, right? Because this is usually a card about generational wealth, but also a legacy, right? You know, a family structure that's that's very established and that's rooted and, and has been built over time. And this is not that, right? And I feel like as a result of this, your person has really learned, especially emotionally as well with the Seven of Cups, your person has really learned to keep their feelings to themselves until they know what they want to do. So this person may have kind of tried to like, let's say, avoid really important conversations, or if you try to like take the mask off and be really authentic with them, they may have really struggled to reciprocate that. And it's not personal and spirit really wants you to know that it's not personal at all. Um... But this person has really learned that they're, it's kind of, it's sad. Like this person has not only learned that there's a lot of, like the things aren't stable and safe for them, but this person has learned that if they're not careful, their feelings can be weaponized against them. And as a result, it's second nature of this person to hold on to their feelings until they're ready to make a move, until they know what they want to do. And with this introspection energy, I feel like your person has been contemplating this. But we do have this reversed, meaning, you know, the Seven of Cups is reversed. I feel like your person has been working on getting clear on what their feelings are um, and is ready to now take the mask off and kind of really have an honest conversation with you about it or have some type of honest. Because we have, you know, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this person might want to literally go on a trip. This person might want to travel to see you. But again, with the Six of Swords imagery, this person wants peace. This person wants to be able to drop the mental strain, to be able to not have to worry about this, whether this is whether you guys are in connection or not. This person wants to wrap up, if you'll pardon me, the shitty cycle. Um, because then again, we also have the Lovers and the Four of Cups, right? Your person knows that you're offering this. And normally the person on the four of cups is looking at the three cups while the fourth is being offered. And they're kind of like, mm, yeah, whatever. And I don't think it's that your person's apathetic about what you're offering. Again, I think your person has been trying to make decisions. Um, and they're just so used to that decision making process being very private and internalized in order to keep themselves safe. Uh, with the mint here, this is really associated with our psychic abilities so your person has been trying to tune in spiritually whether they recognize it like that or not um sorry if you guys can hear all the rain it's really loud <laughs> um but your person's really been trying to tune in and also there are aspects where this connection is both really comforting for them but it also asks them to grow in an uncomfortable way and i feel like they're trying to find a safe place in between those two things um before they say a definitive yes or no because I feel like your person likes to make sure that if they give a yes or no they can follow it up with something it's like when they invest in something emotionally they want to know that it's as safe a guarantee as possible um, and I feel like your person has taken a long time to think about this for some of you even nine months this could be Something where they, you guys have maybe been like casual for that long. We also have, you know, a six and a seven present. Maybe you guys have been casual that long, or maybe you guys have been like dating for six months, or you've been, um, you might have been separated for, you know, four months or for, you know, six, six, seven months, something like that. But your person has been taking this time to really think. Because I think your person wants to make things right in this situation. They know that they have not been towing the line. And they know that they have not been giving this connection the, re the respect it deserves. So that's a little side message from Spirit. But let's see what you guys have for your tarot. You have. Oh, you have the Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. I like the colors being similar. You have the Page of Wounds. Also, I forgot to mention with the lover showing up in the message before, um, because this reminded me of the devil energy, this may have been something where if you're familiar with the traditional tarot, the devil and the lovers look really similar, but instead of an angel residing over them, like in the lovers, there's a devil in the devil. Um, so there may have been this kind of period where both you and your person were trying to figure out, is this a, is this a karmic relationship or is this my person? Um, and I feel for a lot of you, 
I feel for a lot of you, just based on what I'm seeing here, this this has the high likelihood to become to be your person. Um, but there was an intense karmic cycle that had to be resolved. For some of you, this is a karmic soulmate where you are now finishing up the karmic cycle and you have more of an option of whether or not you want to continue um, the relationship or whether or not you want to have a fresh start in the relationship. Um, but I did just want to throw that out there. And lastly, you have... Ooh, the hermit reverse. Perfect. Okay, sorry, I was making sure you guys can see that. Um, so before I get started, signs, we have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and uh, with the hermit, we have Virgo. <clears throat> okay. It's tuning in. I know, I know, I know. I've been taking my time. I've been getting signs everywhere. You cannot escape my attention. I see you in everything I do, whether I want to or not. But I, I want to. And I've been hesitating, and, and I know that's hard for you. And I'm sorry I've kept you waiting. I've been right on the edge, like ready to just grab hold of this. Because you excite me. The idea of being with you excites me. Makes me giddy and happy like a kid. But I haven't because, I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know why. I do, but I don't. Because it's so simple when you put the words out, when you put it on paper and say, yeah, but what if I'm wrong? And I could put more words on paper and justify why that thinking is illogical and stupid. Because if we always thought like that, we would never take a risk. We'd never go for it. We'd never, we'd never really live, right? But it's all the parts of that that you can't put on paper that terrify me. Because I've been wrong a lot before. And I almost didn't recover from being wrong before. And there's a lot of things and a lot of people I could be wrong about. And I can deal with it. I've been through so much. Things I haven't even told you. Things I've barely said out loud to myself. I brush them off like they're no big deal when they've been crippling to me. And I could do it. I made it. I had this inner fire that I protect. That I keep safe. And this is what keeps me going. But if it didn't work out with you, that might be the first time in a long, long, long time I wouldn't be able to cope. And I know this. And that is terrifying. <laughs> but you shine to me. Being around you feels like being in the sun. You make me want to be brave and go after what I want. And what I want is you. And it's very, very easy when I think about it like that. You make me feel creative and enthusiastic. You are the zest of my life. And when you're not around, I just feel... I just feel cloudy. I just feel dull and colorless. But you get me up and you get me going. You get me excited about all that life has to offer. Just when I think it's a bunch of bullshit, you come along and prove me wrong. And before when I was asked to take a chance I could be half in, half out. But there's no half in about you. Because I see you as my final destination. I see you as the end of the road in the best way possible. My wish come true, my happiness, my rainbow after the storm.
it's easy when you don't have anything you wouldn't mind parting with. But I love you and I respect you and I do anything to make this work. And that is somehow the most terrifying thing. And I know I've kept you waiting and I know this has been difficult. I know there have been ups and downs and we've had to learn a lot of spiritual lessons, learn a lot about ourselves. You made me see things I've never seen before and that was annoying sometimes. <laughs> But I'm so grateful and I just wanna I just wanna keep seeing together, keep exploring life together, keep building together. And I know that I would never forgive myself if I didn't give this an honest shot with everything in me. I'm trying to prepare myself emotionally to come forward and tell you about my side of our experience and hope that I can fix anything that's gone wrong. That we can move into much more peace. We can go have fun. We can go on an adventure. That we can move forward toward our happily ever after because I want you to know me. I don't want to be by myself all the time. You make me want to not be isolated. I want you to know me for real. And I know you've already had to have been so patient with me. But if you can find it in your heart to be just a little bit more patient I promise I'll come forward with an explanation because I want you. I don't want anyone else. You are it for me. And it's high time I told you that. I love you, sweetheart. Thank you. Okay, so that is everything I have for group three. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you need help with your specific situation, please feel free to check out my shop link in the description box below. Um, and with that, I'm wishing you guys the best, brightest, most beautiful things that life has to offer. Take care, love bugs. Bye.